I'd like to invite the boys and girls to join me. Good to see all of you this morning. And I see that a lot of you have been bringing your coins and you've been remembering to do that. So we all thank you and we're going to raise that money so we can send a cow overseas and have it have a good home. My and dad. what's that? My dad was the cow. He was? Yeah. We won't tell everyone that your daddy was the cow today. <laughs> I'm sure he doesn't want everybody to know that, okay? <laughs> but I'm glad that a lot of you have been remembering to do little special chores around the house and to raise money to help our cow find a good home. And that's what I wanted to talk to you this morning about remembering. And look what I've got on my finger. See, I've got a little ribbon tied on my finger. And that's something that you don't see people do anymore, but they used to tie a ribbon on their finger so that they would remember something they had to do and they wouldn't forget. You're going to cut off your blood circulation. Uh, no, I didn't. Yeah. I made sure I didn't tie it too tight. And, you know, I'm getting to the point where I forget things sometimes. I don't remember to do things. Do you ever forget to do things? Like maybe forget to make your bed or something? Yeah, what did you forget to do? Oh, yeah, I wouldn't want to... The hamster cage? Yeah, I wouldn't... I'd want to forget that, too. Good. Yeah? To help my brother put on his shirt. Oh, his yes. Shirt. So we all forget. And as you get older, guess what? You tend to forget a little bit more. And so I have these ways of reminding me. For example, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Last year, when I was making the lobster bisque, one, I make it on Thursday afternoon. And... I made it, and I woke up at 4 o'clock in the morning, and I went, oh, no, I didn't put the bisque in the refrigerator. And I began to panic because it had been sitting out. Fortunately, no one got sick. <laughs> I put my slippers on in my bathrobe, and at 4 o'clock in the morning, I came running over here to put the bisque away. And so now, you know what I do now? That's one of these wonderful things about smartphones is I have an alarm on there and it says 10 o'clock every Thursday lobster bisque and if I don't remember to put the bisque away this is what I hear at 10 o'clock in the evening <laughs> and you know something else I gotta make sure I gotta make sure I put that away so I don't hit it in the middle of the sermon. <laughs> and this is something else I do to remember, is if I wake up in the middle of the night and I think of something that I need to do, well, I don't like turning the light on and getting a pad of paper and writing it down. So what I do is I pick up a book on my nightstand and I throw it across the room. That way, I get up in the morning and I say, what's that book doing there? And it reminds me, oh, yes, i got to do this or that. So it's good to have things that help us to remember. And during Lent, what we want to remember is Jesus' love for us, how much he loved us and he went to the cross, and how much he wants us to share that love with others. And so I got thinking about it. This is the symbol that reminds us of Jesus' love for us. Maybe I could just keep it with me all during Lent. No, it won't fit in my pocket, will it? No. No, this cross is too big to help me remember. I can't carry it with me. However, what we can do is we have some little crosses. And we have them for all of you, and when you go up to Sunday school, you're each going to get one of these, and you can keep it all during Lent, and it will remind you of Jesus' love for you on the cross and how much he wants us to share that love with others. And we also have crosses for everyone, and we want them to carry them around. And Would you help us pass these out now? Okay, so I'm going to have Pastor Judy go over there, and why don't you five go over there with her? Yeah, Pastor Judy. Wow, good. And let's have, oh, there's um, 
Mrs. Schultz, and why don't we have, uh, I'm going to have Mrs. Schultz go down the center aisle to maybe about halfway, and why don't you go and help her pass them out. And Deacon Tom, where is Deacon Tom? Here I am. Yeah. All right, you have it. Yeah. And why don't you go down and help there. Okay. And you, you all can help me, okay? Yeah. All right. Now, if you don't have one, raise your hand. Oh, we got a few over here. Right over here. Raise your hand if you don't have one yet. Yeah, there we go. I don't know how this happened. Oh, right here. <laughs> oh, yep. How about you know what you can do? There. All right, does everyone have one? Okay, I'm gonna invite all the children to come back up here, thank you. And we'll... They, uh... Yeah. That's a good job, Connor. Thank you. If you have any extra, we'll take them back for people who may be here next week. There we go. So, these will all be the ones that you'll get, and I'll give them to Mrs. Schultz, and she'll hand them out in Sunday school. And remember to keep it with you. You can keep it in your pocket, or you can put it around your neck. And it's a reminder all through the 40 days of Lent to remember how much Jesus loves us and how much he wants us to share that love with others. Let us pray. Dear God, we thank you for this special time of the year. We remember the cross and how Jesus loved us so much. And we pray that you will help us to always see ways that we can share his love with others. Amen. Thank you.